something a bit more serious. Kill this. Hey, hello. Happy Isolation Friday. So, what are we doing today? Uh, we're flying the the Challenger, and uh, we're gonna be doing something uh, very different. Uh, no more FS Cloud. FS Cloud is officially deceased. It's dead for me in my heart. It's dead because uh, I've received an invite to something pretty awesome. I'm gonna backtrack and sort of do a long story short. A year ago I started flight simming a bit more seriously than I ever did before. So following proceed, trying to follow procedures, trying to do things the way they're supposed to be done and blah blah blah. Uh, I started following this guy named Cat Strader who was pretty proficient at the ATC stuff on Pilot Edge. Now, okay, Pilot Edge was a lot too advanced for me, and it's a paying network, and you're expected to, you're expected to have a certain level before you, like, before you get on, and you, you're, you're expected to be prepared. Uh, the, uh, back then, the... The, uh, the, the, it's not even competition. The alternative was VATSIM. VATSIM a year ago sounded like, let's just say, uh, toy walkie talkies sound better than the way VATSIM did back then. There was, there's also another one called IVEO. India Victor Alpha Oscar and this one seemed alright but it's a lot smaller community and it's pretty niche to Europe so I was sort of stiff and anyways I prefer flying casually so that's so I I also that's when I met uh, Bish and Started doing the group flights with him on FS Cloud. So that, that was alright for a bit. And then sometime last summer, Vatsim got a whole lot better. Uh, it, it went from being the crappiest ever sound in internet communications. Like it, it made it, it made Roger Wilco from the 90s sound like magic and uh, it went from there to oh my god that sounds even better than pilot edge sometimes like you can you can basically can't tell between the uh, between the two unless well the seriousness part of it one you have to pay monthly the other is free and kind of a bit of a free-for-all so flying with bish uh, he told us about this thing called POSCON that was on the way and uh, which is a new network it, it wouldn't start right away with ATC ATC is gonna get there but it's basically the way it starts it's CTAF only and well you have to listen to guard you you, you can basically go on the like the the I'd say the public frequency or your buddy's frequency, which is I think it, I think it's a twenty nautical mile radius around your airplane. Uh, so that's possible. Or I, I don't know, like I, I don't know how that works. I think it's more lines. I don't know the technical stuff. So I said, why not? So I, I reg, I went to the site. I registered. And. In the meantime, I also discovered another streamer, uh, Cockpit Builders, who's a guy from Toronto, Trevor Hale, flies around, he shows on stream, is pretty damn awesome, uh, King Air 350 uh, sim cockpit, using the cockpit of a King Air 350, it's, it's pretty mental. and. When I saw him, he was flying. He was flying most of the time on Vatsim, and he was talking about Poscon. 
So I say, hey, I, I'm all, I also registered on, Popka, on uh, Poscon not too long ago, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And uh, So he got back to me in, in uh, private messages, uh, basically asking me, uh, it's like, ah, how, are, how are your CTAF skills and stuff like that? I was like, oh, I kind of know my way a bit, but I mean, I'm not exactly used to it, but like, I want to learn. This, uh, like, I want to get into it. And uh, a couple days later, he goes, uh, he goes, you yeah, like, uh, that, that's your email, uh, your email address. Are you ready? Blah 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 blah. So I go, sure, man. And minutes later, I had my invite for the invite only beta of Poscon. So we're here. So uh, I'm just gonna go to capture my uh, screen. Uh, can I hello get over here this is Poscon this is a live map I'm not logged in yet like when I log in I'm gonna show up uh, probably here let's go log in and now boom so there I am on the map zoom in yeah now it's showing it dinky plane so there you go <laughs> it's not exactly the correct little plane but I think I think all planes are like basically a basic little plane like that but uh, you can zoom way in and you even have I never even noticed that. So I'm going to be taxiing via probably Echo Alpha Golf to the runway. Nice. So I'm going to do my first ever CTAF call on a live network. Uh, there's nobody here, I think. I, uh, I, I wanted somewhere where the weather was kind of perfect. I'm in Las Vegas and I'm going to San Francisco. Uh, last time I checked, the weather was pretty spiffy nice. Uh, okay, why did I get rid of my sky vector? You dumbass Momo, you. Alright. Okay, so I don't really need the airport diagram. I got it right here. Variable three knots broken. Oh man, broken at twenty thousand. Woo! Yeah, we're good. The west coast of the U.S. is very nice. I think that's kind of the reason why uh, uh, why uh, Pilot Edge is around there. Okay, I will need. Well, I'll still put on the diagram here. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna be a short flight anyway. Well, short-ish flight, still 400 miles. All right. Uh, so that's it for the. Yeah. Apart from that, I, I I can't really do the the full. Like I don't really know the entire UI yet. Uh, flight information, uh, like all that. I, I I need to read up. I need to. I know uh, Bish did a very nice stream with uh, with the Poscon guys. They showed up. Uh, they showed a lot of the stuff. Uh, Cockpit Builders also did a very nice stream. So yeah, for now that's gonna be it. I'm gonna just gonna put that aside. Just zoom in to where the hell I am, which is here. Uh, yeah, as long as I can see, I can actually see the runways from here, or the, the whatchamacallits. Alright, so put this around here, make sure I see my stream. Alright, so let's go in the plane and start this up. Uh, I haven't filed the flight plan in the... Poscon yet? I'm very new to it. I, like it's freshly installed. I had a bit of 
issues installing it because somehow uh, the uh, Avast uh, antivirus thought it was bad it messed up my install I had to reinstall it with the help of a dev it, it was perfect so all right so we I think we're good on the pre-flight no let's do the fast pre-flight and uh, thank you very much oops it always moves a little bit thank you okay let's start this baby up it's gonna be a very quick start it's not gonna be the this is not <laughs> not gonna be a textbook startup of a challenger but it will start up view crossbleed rooms windows get the APU gen Bon stream, mais merci mon amour, je t'aime. Comment ça tu regardes Twitch à la job? <rire> Cheers, je t'aime. J'ai hâte que tu reviennes, on est vendredi. <rire> ok, je dis plus rien. <rire> Ok. On ne parle plus. On ne parle plus de ça. On ne parle plus de ces choses-là. Je t'aime, mon amour. Je t'aime fort, fort. All right. So, uh, there's something in my eye. Uh, bon, ok. Uh, so, let's do uh, the emergency lights. and uh, yeah that's it for now so oh yeah air source the shadows are all messing me up okay what was that call well it's probably because of the crossbees or something I don't know uh, let's uh, let's uh, We're pretty good. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna do is make sure I got everything set up. I think I'm okay. Uh, Anderson Tower is 128, one, uh, 128. Yes, I can't one. 125, one. Yep. 123.45.45. I, I like I, it's gonna be point and not decimal. And not dot. So one two three point four five is gonna be the talk to your buddies thing. I'm gonna put the uh, the squawk code to standby. On com two, I've got guard, which I need to be monitoring. And. Uh, And this is the emergency tower channel, which I can put it here instead. Uh, should I? Should I? Should I? Should I? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be close to anybody. This is not a group flight, so let's... Oops, sorry. 0.95. So... In the case that I couldn't find the frequency of the tower, or if it's an untowered frequency, this would be my CTAF. Like, if I can't find the CTAF, I'm flying in the middle of nowhere, I don't know, like super far up north in a weird Inuit place, which would probably be Montreal Center, but I don't. Anyway, can't find the tower, 122.95 is your, uh, your CTAF. But here it's 125.100, so that's what I'm going to be using. Okay, uh, that's done, that's done. Uh, let's program the FMC. Uh, go 
flight plan, go clear. We are at Kilo Hotel November Delta, and we're going to Kilo Sierra Foxtrot Oscar. Thank you. We are, as always, in this plane, Charlie Foxtrot Charlie 616, Can 4 616. Execute this. Uh, okay. Uh, no, no, what I want is this. Okay, we're going to be doing direct Arles. Rels. Okay, next page. Victor 105 to Owl then the Victor 244 to Oak Cruise will be at. We'll do three five zero. Er, let's do three. Uh, uh, whoops. Let's do thirty thousand. It's gonna be okay. Okay. Let's go legs. Arl's lucky hidden. Captain New York is raiding with a party of seven. Thanks very much for the for the raid. Uh, yeah, welcome to the noob stream. <laughs> So I hope I'm gonna not uh, uh, dismember myself on stream. Thank you very much. Hello, hello, hello. So yeah, I'm on Poscon. Try this. <laughs> Seems good. <laughs> cool. All right. All right. And we were doing the the Arnav 28 left into. into San Francisco so where's Oak okay it's there thanks man yeah so far so good All right, so I don't have to do a departure. I'm going to go direct to Arles. Uh, departure. Let's do the arrival. Doing uh, Arnav. And thanks for the follow, Captain New York. Uh, with the phase transition, I'm not doing a star. It's going to be pretty straightforward. And Jubin Root is now following. Thanks for the follow, man. As I'm sort of... Sort of winging it. All right, let's go legs. Let's go check if everything uh, checks out. Kill this discontinuity. Oink. Thank you. I've been known to not kill a discontinuity and wondering why the hell my plane was going nowhere or going straight. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, uh, cool enough. Go here. You wing it many times. Yeah, that's for, it's the way to go, man. This is super chill, anyways. All right, that's done. So we're gonna be taking off runway 17. It is runway 17, right? Yes. All right. So let's start them up, shall we? I don't have to. No, I don't have to push back or anything, that's for sure. Okay. And this is. Okay, that's Foxtrot, so I'll be going Foxtrot Alpha Golf Runway. Good. Uh, yeah, engine starting. Everything is good, everything is good. Uh, yeah, ready to start. One, two, three, go. No problem, man. Take your time. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> Switch! Run that thing. Oh, my. My mouse was going a bit nuts. Okay. Now you're gonna go. CITT rise. Thank you very much. Left gen's on. Left bleed's on. Dos. This plane is so easy to start. For a complete noob like me, it's perfect. Alright, generator is on. So I can bleed on, I can kill the cross bleed. I can uh, kill the APU. There you go. APU is unnecessary now. And we're pretty much ready to go. What I do want is okay. On my side, I want the flight controls. On, oops. On the right side, I want the fuel and the summary. That's how I like to fly my Challenger. Uh, next. Okay, since we're going, let's do the super easy stuff. Just go straight to 30,000. We don't have ATC, so might as well make good use of that. So we're going straight 30,000. Our speed is not going to be 75 knots. It's going to be more like 250 for now. 250 until 10,000. And I'll bring it up to 290. And then we'll climb. 250. I have to select my nav source, which is FMS1. Put it on nav. Hey, that's uh, more viewers than I was expecting. Cool. So, hello viewers. I'm almost done with my beer. Once I'm in cruise, I'll go get another one. So, <clears throat> that's, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's the first time I do this. 
X-Ray Zulu Hotel Charlie is now following. Thanks for the follow, man. Just I'm about to do this. Anderson Traffic uh, Challenger 300 Can 4 616 uh, is going to be taxiing uh, Foxtrot Alpha Golf to runway 17. Anderson. Alright, so. Uh, so, brakes out. Uh, yep, yeah, brakes off. And let's rock. my speed limit so I don't embarrass myself too much. something I forgot my taxi lights Brakes. Yeah, my brakes are finicky a little bit. Anderson traffic, uh, can 4616 holding short runway 17. Uh, Anderson. Yeah, I gotta get, you know, it's the first time I do this. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, just make sure I got stuff ready to go. Anderson traffic, can 4616 entering runway 17, Anderson. Approaching 17, right. I didn't know if there was a left or a right. I thought it was in the. I thought it was another. Uh, blah. Traf uh, taxiway. So sorry about uh, that. Immersion destroyed. On runway one seven right. Runway one seven right. Check. Okay. So I'll just it's gonna be Anderson traffic. Departure. To the south, turning to the northwest to 30,000 Anderson. Anderson traffic, CAN 4616 on runway 17 right, taking off to the south, turning northwest to 30,000 feet. Anderson. Or Henderson. Let's roll! Power set.
water speeds alive. Eighty knots. And here's V one rotate. Pause the rate, gear up, flaps up. Forgot something. Yeah, sorry. Don't scream at me too much. Oh, I blew the speed limit. Oops. Blew the speed. I forgot my uh, vertical speed. Yeah, let's cool it down. Yeah, I'm blowing my speed limit like nuts. Nah, I can't even slow it down. Oh well, well, I'm gonna be breaking the speed limit for now. I'm gonna just put it at, at 290 right away. 290. I didn't even check my. Oh, so much talking before the. I'm still in HPA. Can I push a little bit? I'm sorry, I've really kind of messed it up. I should be doing a bit more calls too. No, no, I'm not nervous at all. And flight line will change. And there she goes into rocket mode. Anderson traffic, uh, CAN 4616. Last call, Anderson. Anderson traffic radio check. Loud and clear. Ah, this is fantastic. Uh, Jibin Root, uh, wait up. It's on special right now. I think it's twenty dollars. It's on special right now these days. Okay, let's fix the barometer because that's yeah. I'm gonna be flying in the states a bit more. Uh, I have to do refs, barometer, uh, data, inches, thank you very much. was 
is 2998, 2998, but I'm about to, yeah, let's do it right away because, you know, I kind of messed up, 2998 for now, so that's fixed. Switch to one, two, three, dot four, five. Oh, I sort of forgot this also. Come on, it's a bit more important when you're on a network now. Just a little bit more. It's not too bad. There's no ATC yet. CAN 4616, general frequency radio check. Alright, I'm past 18,000. So now let's kill this. The next one is... San Francisco. There you go. Okay, broken at 20,000. Temperature 10, dew point 3. Altimeter 3009. We're we're up at cruise. Let's, uh... Oh, I forgot something. I forgot something. I forgot something. My landing lights. There you go. Should have done that by ten thousand. That I was like, oh no, I missed it. Yeah. I'll get there. I promise. So meanwhile, we're uh, doing that uh, short flight plan. Top of descent is in 300, we got a bit to go. Check out the live map on Poscon. Kyle H. Hello, Kyle H. So, so far this is going swimmingly. It'd be great if somebody, like, somebody that has PodCon would load up in uh, San Francisco. Be awesome. No, I'm not exactly the, <laughs> the biggest streamer with the, the most following. 
I know this weekend I will do some uh, some group flights with uh, Bish 753. So that should be fun. Because the thing with Poscon, as opposed to all the other networks, you have sound. Like the planes, the, the planes actually make sound. They're not just there with the wheels missing or weird model no uh, it's really a, it's like mind blowing when I first saw that I was like oh my god I'm, I got myself into this alright I time to get more serious and yeah if there's one network that is giving me the kick in the ass to get more serious about flying on a network it's boss gone Alright, so let's do another flyby. I was gonna do a flyby, but I noticed my uh, my landing lights were still showing, and I love this livery. I absolutely love this livery. such a great plane and a good deal these days because it's on sale so by all means run and go get it all right it's looking like top of the scent in 279 yeah we're good So, uh, chat, I'll be right back. I'm going to go get beer. I'm actually going to... Uh, I'm just going to change my little message to... doing this because to look at my OBS I have to look around my joystick <laughs> all right guys be right back I'm back, I'm back. All right, this and this and we're good. So this stream is brought to you by Unibrew's La Maudite. Unibrew, drink less, drink better. Frequency for this thing. 
120.5. So let's uh, prepare this. 
And in case you didn't know, the Challenger 300 is a rocket ship. It's a fun rocket ship. <laughs> So Captain New York, you were raiding, so you were just looking at people on the in the, on the X plane category and just said, "Oh, this guy looks all right." And... So thanks very much, man. Totally appreciate it. Ah, that's nice, man. Thanks. Yeah, I'm new-ish. I, I have been doing this for a while, but very casually, once in a while. But now maybe a bit more seriously, because, hey, in less than a month, I am retiring from my job. Yes! So I'll be able to stream a lot more. Well, we do have a move in the, in the works. So... Thanks, man. Yeah, but between my retirement and the move is gonna be so-so. But after the move this summer, yeah, it's gonna be more, a uh, bit more streams and more drumming. And yeah, cannot wait. Couldn't be a better time to retire, man, because we're living through weird times. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> Yes, man, I retired. I've been working for 30 plus years at the city of Montreal. I am making a few people jealous. I, I'm aware. But yeah, close, close, not quite 31 years, and yeah, I'm due. It's, it's my turn now. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, hopefully the move is gonna go good with all this crazy, nutsoid craziness. So I am moving, like, pretty far from my place, actually. Like an hour by... an hour by car. So in Quebec, we're essentially switching regions. So I hope... I hope we don't have, like, you know, uh, uh, roadblocks and stuff. Oh, should I switch to uh, Mach? Don't have money to buy rudder, so I can't retire. Oh. <laughs> well, I'll tell me about it. Uh, my X-52 is a bit long in the tooth, and uh, I'm due for new controls. But, uh, yeah, moving, and we want to buy a gazebo, we want to buy a, a second fridge, uh, what else? There's going to be various furniture we need to buy. It is an Xbox controller. <laughs> yeah, I've had my X-52 since the... The flight sim 2004 days. And back then, I wasn't taking flight sim seriously. It was basically get in something obscenely fast, go obscenely fast and obscenely low, and open to not crash, and that was it. I called it flight simming. 
<laughs> Fast forward to last year when I decided, ah, like, X Plane was on my back burner on Steam for the longest time. And it came on sale at a, uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it was uh, like the, the spring break of 2019. Uh, it was like like 45 bucks. I go like, okay, maybe I should, let's get back into flight simming. I start looking to explain. I go, whoa, man, stuff has changed in 15 years. <laughs> So I got explain and started to, I, I started basically doing the same thing, doing stupid things, going fast, going crazy, and then I started looking into people streaming it, and I was noticing people that were a lot more serious about it. So I had, I had to find the right, uh, like the, the the people I fly I fly with, like the the Bish crew. It, it was the perfect. The, the perfect cross of serious enough yet casual so I went along that path and yeah <laughs> you, see, that's you too <laughs> yeah I really I, I really admire like the real flyers let's say uh, castrator citation max Like okay, Max, it's his job. Like it's his he flies a plane for a living. I mean, yeah. Not starting to lose a bit of speed. Just put a bit more horses. But he can still be goofy about it, which is what is cool. Like I've had people come into into my stream and say, Oh, you're doing this wrong, you're doing this wrong, or like how dare you? Like, what the, I'm having fun, man. This is, I don't think uh, like the FAA is going to go on my ass, you know? Yeah, some people take themselves a bit too seriously in this world. But yeah, that's it. We got to have fun with it. We, we, we got to totally have fun with it. All right, uh, where are we? 166. Hey, time flies by when you're having people to talk to. <laughs> yeah, I've done some flights, so I also have my uh, s some uh, playlists on YouTube, and some of those flights, like say a, a six, seven hundred mile leg, and with no one to talk to, man, those are. Oh my god. Yeah, exactly, it's not a real flight. As, as like, as real as we'd love it to be. Like, I'd love to be flying in a Challenger right now. Yeah, we just gotta... Just gotta have fun with it, and... I mean, that's why I own a pocket rocket. <laughs> One of these days, uh, when I get a bit more used to the to the network and stuff, we're gonna be flying the pocket rocket. That's for sure. All right, let's let's see that. Let's see this turn. Ah, oh, there you go. With flashy clouds and stuff. I mean, what's not to love about this? You know. That was me at first when I started in October of last year. Just put some Netflix on and sat back. Yeah. Like sometimes I fly and my my girlfriend is like next to me on the sofa. She's watching, I don't know, whatever on Netflix. And she goes, C'est bien plat on fire, man. Your thing's boring. Uh, wow, well, it's like, I like it looking. Oh, I'm going at 30,000 feet at Mach 0.79. And oh shit, I forgot my squawk code and blah blah blah. <laughs> oh yeah, it's all fun. It's all tons of fun. It's a great hobby. 
And of course, after I move, uh, after I move to my house, I'm gonna have room to sort of build myself. Like my desk is gonna go from a desk to something more cockpit-like, and that's gonna be when I play my computer. Is gonna be in the cockpit, basically. The new, yeah, the new one is pretty nice. It's looking pretty nice. And from what I heard, you don't need like a Cray supercomputer to run it. So, uh, I haven't seen anything because of NDAs and stuff like that. But I've I've spoken to Catstrader and he goes, if you can run Explain decently, you can run MS, uh, MSFS uh, 2020, no problem. So, cool! So, when it comes out, we'll see. I have put a bit of money in my X-Plane though, like this plane was not free, uh, I, have the, I have the Pocket Rocket, the E-1000, uh, some little fun GA plane called the Black Shape Prime, that was only 15 bucks, but hey. Uh, what else did I buy? I bought the MiG-29, which is probably something else I'm going to fly on the network at some point, maybe get some shit for it, but hey, I'm not going to go too crazy. Don't want to get in trouble as, as soon as this uh, as the, uh, the network launches. I bought Active Sky, which is not running at the moment. <laughs> yeah, flight sim, not cheap. And I'm looking into getting my uh, Navigraph uh, subscription probably this weekend because uh, now that I'm on network, I'm uh, yeah I'm gonna need my my GPS and FMS to be uh, up to date. Have the the charts and everything. Yep, I'm there. So a bit uh, a bit more than a year down the line, I'm like, okay, I gotta subscribe to this, and I got I need this, and uh, <laughs> but uh, hey, beautiful weather here in uh, California. on the ATIS in San Francisco International and we are if Avitab can load it we're just passing Miller Mountain okay I've never been out west so I have no idea where we are so I'm gonna zoom way out Man, it's having a open street map is being slow. Yeah, zoom way the hell out. Okay, so we're going to be passing the highest of the Rockies. I do know some people near San Jose, like one of my buddies, he moved out there. And I'm a huge, 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 massive fan of Santa Clara Vanguard, which is in Santa Clara, California, which we should be flying over at some point. out there because his, uh, his wife had, had, had gotten a job at Stanford University so there was no way there, there, there was no saying no to that so out there they moved and he found a job in uh, well he was in a decent job here in Montreal at CAE uh, CAE systems the, the the real flight sims and he found a job in somewhere Silicon Valley
Yep. Oh yeah. You should go military after nine months so maybe I can join the Air Force. Hey, if you have the opportunity, I'd say go for it, man. You, know, you need a bit of a drive to get into the military, though. Like, the, the first... Uh, the first two months are not exactly the easiest, let's say. But, yeah, if, if you're young... If you're young and uh, you think you can pass the physical... Man. Go for it, by all means. After you've done like tours of duty or whatever, whatever it's called, like after you've done your military career, if you, if you are a pilot, well, that's basically your way into to, to airlines and stuff. So yeah, and instead of you shelling out thousands upon thousands of dollars in uh, in flight schools and stuff, well, the military pays for that. BRB, no problem, man. Take all the time you need. We are 100 from top of descent. Should go. That's my country law. Uh, what country are you from, man? Force minus ten years, what the fuck? I don't know. Korea! Korea! Kore! Kore! Well, <laughs> well, I take it you're on the, the good side of Korea. So when you're in the Air Force, you have to be in for 10 years minimum, is that what you're saying? Click that button. I see my <laughs> I see my cursor is right over the wind source for the yeah anti ice no problem here though. Uh, so I didn't look at what I was supposed to be looking at. Top of the sense at 84. All right, we're good. To, we're good for a while. At least. 10 years to be a pilot, okay. Well, yeah, it does take some time. Well, you, you do have like the entire, like if you're talking from, from zero to sitting in whatever South Korea is using, probably F-35s or something. If you're going from zero to F-35, yeah, it's gonna be a bit of time. But yeah, you're gonna start with the, it's basically the same way as everybody else. You start with a, I think you start with a glider flight, and then you do like a, one se a Cessna 172, then you go on to the, the smaller trainers, like pr the, the piston trainers, and then you go to a turboprop trainer, do that for a while, and then you go to the jet trainer, there, somewhere in the middle is multi-engine, 
depending on I, I don't know what Korea uses. What does Korea use for uh, for fighter planes? And meanwhile, we're still we're still putting it on on uh, Poscon. I can't wait for more people to get their invites and more people to fly. And uh, eventually, my uh, my next flights are going to be with with like in group flights. I know I'm I'm due for a group flight this weekend, but I, I will also log in random where there's a bunch of people get used to it and everything and show off uh, Poscon because Poscon is amazeballs like the the model matching and the sounds man the sounds you get sounds in a on, on a network man it's amazing F15 okay yeah well But I know those F-15s are, are starting, they're, they're good, but they're getting old. That's why I said F-35, because I think like South Korea is pretty okay as far as uh, military goes. I mean, you guys do have the neighbors. <laughs> I would call them the neighbors. I know my neighbors, man. Uh, I can't wait to escape my neighbors. All right, let's look down at that. 63 to top of descent. And we are... We still have, like, ways to go. Next, all these waypoints is basically the 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 airway, and the fun starts at Faith. Airbus, Ra Raider, I don't get Raider, but, well, an Airbus pilot, yeah. Well, that's it, well, there's, uh, there's only two ways to do that, there's the military way and the private way, and the private way is gonna set you back about 50 grand, oh, well, here in Canada, or Canada slash US. Now you're 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 a stockbroker and I'm fired because oh crap oh man that sucks oh that sucks man that that really blows like right now I'm home because of COVID-19 and but I'm paid for it because I work at the city of Montreal I do I do I do to go to the office twice a week because I work in the courthouse and most of the stuff has to happen at the courthouse. Like all the files are there, the systems are there, and everything. So we're usually a team of 20-ish people, and now only a third of that goes in every day. We're on rotation. We have a special schedule. But yeah, being fired, that sucks, man. That really blows. Okay, 47 to the top of the scent. We have to start thinking about that. Start checking out my uh, sky vector thing.
I don't really I don't really know how to deep uh, how to brief and approach and stuff like that. But uh, uh, that's okay, I guess. Stock brokering sucks. Well, <laughs> these days uh, it, it's not exactly a party. That's for sure. Like I, I've seen uh, like all the big uh, like Dow Jones and stuff like that go south, basically. Alright, so while I'm here, we're about to go for the top of B. Oh, a stupid chair and seat charts, call bank, go home at 9. Oh man, that must be rough. I think I prefer my, my uh, puny criminals. Okay, so at Faith... Okay, at Divek I need to be 7,000, so I'm gonna set, uh, and uh, actually, where's the ele elevation? Airport elevation is 13 feet. It's like in the water. And we're pretty much gonna be good to go. I'm just gonna go here, go Prague, 29, 28, yeah. Yep, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be time. So I'm going to set my altitude to 7,000. I said, nah, not 7,000. I set it to, like, the bottom. So... 2,500. No, set it for 7,000 first. 5,000. Yeah, send it for 5,000. And yeah, I think that's going to be good to go. This 23. Yeah, we're good to go. So we're going to go VNAV. We're going to do this. Nav has taken control of the engines. And we should start going down when we hit the top of the set, which is uh, coming up, I think. Uh, oh, I hate when that happens. Top of the scent is here. So once we hit it, we're gonna start going down and we're gonna pull back on the gas. This thing is a slight bitch to slow down, but uh, it's still interesting. It's a great flyer, though, so it's not too hard. But even with, like, engines down, you have to put in some spoiler, or else it's, it'll, it wants to keep flying. Starts taking us down. It's actually 
switch to the San Francisco Tower. San Francisco Atis. It's one thirteen point seven. So let's go on the com two. One thirteen. Whoops. And here we go. Radar pilot, which has a big round circle. Oh. The AWACS pilot. Okay, I get it. All right, we're going down. Uh, we need some spoilers because we will accelerate even though we kill the engines. This plane is crazy like that. Uh, 113. No, it's not 113, for some, that's for sure. So 118.85, okay. 118.85 Do we have... No, we don't have the ATC yet, so let's put it back on guard. Going down. San Francisco Tower, Can 4616, has started our descent from 13,000 down to 7,000. San Francisco. Has a bunch of little more things to think about. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Kind of nice. And the weather couldn't be more beautiful. I mean, California, man. California, yay. Yeah, we still have a bit on the on the airway before we get to where we want to go. Yeah, faith is uh, a bit off. Let's go check on the on the Matar. Unless we get the ATIS. San Francisco INTL information Papa. 1700 Zulu weather. Wind calm. Visibility more than 10. Sky conditions 20,000 broken. Temperature 12. Dew point 1. Altimeter 3010. Arriving runways 28 right. 28 left, departing runways 28 right, 28 left, 01 right, 01 left. Advise on initial contact you have Papa. We have information Papa, so it's going to be 3010 once we passed 18,000. Sort of soon. Oh, 
But yeah, I want to make sure I'm going to pop this off so it's going to be easier to read. It's, it's 28 left, right? <laughs> left, right? <laughs> Avance, Hercule! Uh, yeah, 28 left. Cool. I did not mess that up. Like, I, I've messed up so much before, man. It's not even funny. I'm getting there now. I'm getting a lot more confident with my my equipment, with my plane. Instead of playing, instead of trying to play on 20 different planes, I try to stick to the main ones, the, the like my main ones. And we're going to San Francisco. Next waypoint is salad. The waypoint of salad fingers. I like rusty spoons. I like to touch them. If you don't know what salad fingers is, uh, look up salad fingers on YouTube and I, you did not hear this from me. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go a bit less on the uh, yeah less on the range so I can you know see stuff uh, yeah ten the ten nautical miles should do it. Okay, we're about to go barometer. Trying to find out like which waypoint is how far from the airport so we can make the call. This is stuff that I don't know yet. I'm guessing when I make the turn to the transition of faith, that's when I make my call of where I am. Yes, I have no idea. And we are at Oak. So after Oak, it's going to be Faith. Altimeter setting. Roger that. 30, 10, thank you. This is a great plugin, the XRAAS plugin. You need that. But I can't live without it, no. This is, now that I have it, I've had it in one plane. It was built in. And when I found out I could have it in X plane for everything, I was like, okay, there's no going back. What is this plane? Glad you asked. It's the, uh, the D Den Challenger 300. I'll go exclamation mark. Plane? There you go. This is a link to the plane. It's a beauty. That's what it is. I'm gonna need a serious case of blowing my nose after this stream. I'm like, don't touch it. I 
Ah, San Francisco. Let's look at the waypoints. Okay, so the next waypoint is Faith. So... Okay, that's not it. No, it's like way behind me, right? I really don't know when I should be making my call here. I mean, I know this is only CTAF, but... I guess as I pass 10,000. Actually go like 2,000 on the altimeter, on the altimeter, on the altitude. Uh, even 1,005, everything is pretty, yeah, 2,000. I'll make it from here. All right, passing 10,000. I'm going to turn on the landing lights and that taxi light. And hold on to your butts. San Francisco traffic. Uh, Can 4616 is uh, southwest of the airport, passing 10,000 down 2,000, San Francisco. Going down, we's a going down. You're supposed to be turning the other way. Yes, you are. There you go. Actually, let's go. Uh, let's go. Wet or direct. Execute. So that's good. My lights are on, so that's good. I'm gonna release a bit. Not release a bit, I mean remove some spoilers. I have no clue why the the plan sort of lost its, lost itself like that. So, you know, 
put in like closer to the With ADC, I'd probably be vectored way different. That's good. It's like, do I even have the field though? Not yet. Still a bit of a ways off. But once I'm on it, I'll be on final straight in. Whereas with our, yeah. Or it should be 5,000. It's looking like it's going to do it. somewhere is an airport oh hello thank you for cooperating Right, so go vertical speed. Whoa, 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 I call this? What did I just do? Uh, my plane? What did I do? <laughs> Alright. San Francisco traffic, can 4616 uh, on final, San Francisco, on final, let me restart that, can 4616, I bungled all that up, forget it, San Francisco traffic, can 4616 on final, runway 28 left San Francisco <gasps> my plane
Flaps one. Oh, that was, uh, yeah. It's the first time I do this. Please don't shoot me. I should have plugged in the line less. That's another thing that I'm bungled. But no worries, I'm gonna land it. That's that's not too much of a problem. down you, you, you saw my uh, the double click effect of my controls oh, I'm going a bit too low I need some power and flaps three approaching two eight left two eight left checks Hello. We're landing. No worries, we're landing. There, Pappy is a lot happier. Somewhere is a center line. All right, disregard the pappy a little bit. All right, center line is somewhere. Long landing a bit. Ten. Floaty. And Butter Reversers. on we'll be taking the next right four thousand feet remaining yeah no worries your brakes ah, okay left uh, yeah left so is there somewhere I can look at the San Francisco traffic, CAN 4616 has cleared the runway at Delta, San Francisco.
Thank you very much. All right. That was that was an okay landing, I think. I have no clue where I am on the thing. I have, I didn't plan on on where I was parking or anything. I'm just like getting out of the the way of whatever. I'm alone on the network in this part of the world anyway. So let's just let's go to one of these gateways. Let's take this one. Ah, okay. Uh, that was kind of weird. Okay. It's not perfect, but a. Hey. There you go. Clean up the flaps. We made it. <laughs> All right. That was pretty nifty. I just want to see the map. Yeah, I'm alone in the universe. Oh, there's one guy over Quebec. He's probably on a big flight. There's one guy in, like, Delta. Dal in an A31. Yeah, he's in... I think he's in Detroit. There's another guy in... Where is he? In somewhere... He's a phoenix, and there's me in San Francisco. That's the four guys that are in North America right now. All right, I'm going to disconnect from the network. I want to see this landing again before I uh, go off. So log out. Thank you very much. That was very, very amazeballs. Uh, let's go replay mode, and let's put it. Okay, that's a bit far. That's a bit too close. I wanna. Ah, oh, there you go. So, let us do this. So, if I do the runway, is it the good runway? Yes, it is. There, I'm, I'm way too low. Like, pas à peu près. I'm trying to go back up a little bit. And it seems to be working as the pappies are waking up. Seem to be lined up all right. Uh, not too bad. Come on. Come on. Come on down. You're the next contestant on the prize is right. And I'm a bit to the left. And floaty, floaty, floaty. Yeah. Thanks very much, man. It was smooth. It was like 
it felt good. Could have been a bit more on the center line, but uh, yeah, it's all right. Let's, uh, let's uh, back it up here. Let's go and let's do this. That was nice, man. That was pretty nice. That was one of my nicer ones. I have to reinstall uh, uh, the landing rate thing just for shits and giggles. But yeah, man, that was a nice one. I want to see it again from this side. There you go. It's gonna be worth a screenshot. And and oh yeah, yeah. That, I'm really happy about this one. <laughs> All right, enough uh, shenanigans. Go to replay mode. Let's shut this thing down. Slowly but surely, turn on the APU. APU gen is on. Put on the APU bleed. And, uh, yeah, lights can all go on. Oh, on, on. There you go. Thank you, passengers. You can, uh, that's it. Thank you very much, guys. And it was a very nice surprise to have you around. And like, I I wasn't expecting any viewers at all for my first time on Toscon. And yeah, that was that was something. I kind of messed up the the end for the calls because I don't exactly know when to do it, what exactly to say. But I'm gonna get there. I know I go, I'm gonna get there. The start was pretty okay. We did get somebody on uh, on the frequency as soon as I left, which is kind of a bummer because he, he like he like I was I was gone I was out of there and he just logged on and I was leaving the the area so I had to like get away from the tower frequency. But yeah, all right, let's uh, let's kill this thing slowly but surely. So kill the engines. Turn off the probes, turn off the stuff. Uh, turn on the instruments and stuff, or off, I mean. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And do the animations that take a. There you go. Mr. Prime Minister, you can get off the plane. Because this is what this plane is used is for, like for the Prime Minister, the Governor General, various generals and admirals of the military. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a fun livery. It's, a, it's an actual, actual livery of a plane in Canada. It's really nice. Okay, so guys, that's it. I'm gonna turn off the APU, turn off the plane. So, off the APU, off the batteries. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to San Francisco. First ever flight on a, on a network, on a multiplayer network with frequencies and stuff. And yeah, I've, I've got tons to learn. Uh, there's gonna be more flights like this uh, for sure uh, this is my first experience just going on CTAF and just I, I, I've, I've had I've had some a few experiences not on CTAF but I mean just me myself talking to myself saying okay on sheet on if I was on frequencies I would be saying this I would be told this I would respond this 
And this is going to be my first experience on a network, eventually, with ATC and everything. So yeah, that's it. Uh, short stream today. I just wanted to get my... Uh, uh, pop my POSCON cherry. That's done. And uh, can't wait to fly more. Can't wait to fly with people, around people, and uh, make sure I don't do something stupid. On this note... Guys, it's been amazing. Captain New York, thank you very much for the early raid with a bunch of people. It was very good to have you around to talk to and everything. And uh, yeah, thanks for the follows. And I'll be back probably during the weekend. Uh, I know I'm working on Monday and then I'm off on uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. So we'll be back. Thank you very much, guys. Ciao. Have a nice one. See ya. Oh, uh, yeah, no, 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 not closing. Eh, 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 time out, time out, time out. I need to find somebody to fucking raid. We need to find somebody to raid. Uh, go here. Go here. Go back to Twish. Go to following. Go to category. Uh... On the explain side is 119 people. Anybody I know, there's Torbinator. Uh, he doesn't need he doesn't need people. Oh, there's this guy doing the Poscon network. I wonder who that is. Okay. So let's do. All right. This guy seems to be starting up. Elite Cobra Tyler. We are raiding Elite Cobra Tyler. So, slash, raid, Elite. Whoops, space. Elite Cobra Tyler. All right. Raid is preparing. Four viewers are ready to raid Elite Cobra Tyler. And we are raiding now. See you guys. Thanks very much. See you.